And there's lots of financial news today. So what is happening with the economy? Well, to take the nation's financial temperature, we are joined by William M. Rogers, chief economist and professor at Rutgers University. And always good to see you, Bill. Great. Thanks for having me back. <coughs> All right. We had some uh, highs and lows in the U.S. economy this year, but a lot of things have unnerved investors. I mean, lots of different things. Let's start off with 2012 and some of the good things that happened and some of the bad things. Well, number one is uh, during 2012, we re restored uh, sort of the connection between economic growth and job creation that uh, with the, uh, the December jobs report, which came out several weeks ago, uh, even with Hurricane Sandy, even with the hostess of uh, manufacturers shutting down uh, after they couldn't come to resolution with their, uh, with th with their union. Um, and that was 18,000 jobs. That's right. That's right. You know, we've still over this 2012 continued to add jobs that, uh, you know, we've had over 30 months of uh, private sector job creation since February 2010, uh, amounting to about 5 million new jobs so uh, in the private sector. Yes. What about those investors? Do we think that they're a little calmer now? I mean, moving forward? Well, you know, the, the, the big word that everybody through 2012 and even, you know, pre-2012 was uncertainty. Right, mm -hmm. whether uncertainty. People on Wall Street were concerned about the uncertainty about who was going to was it, was President Obama going to get reelected, or were we going to see Mitt Romney become the new President of the United States? And and the, the uncertainty there was, you know, these two men represented very very different visions on tax policy, on social policy, and so 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 with November's election uh, and the and the electorate saying we want President Obama, right, that was wiped away. But then day the next day after, the next piece of uncertainty was what. The fiscal, fiscal cliff. cliff. I was just going to say, let's <laughs> talk about that, uncer that uncertainty because it's certainly looming right now. Yeah. And of course, uh, House Speaker John Boehner and uh, President Obama are still at odds, as we just heard from both of them. Mm -hmm. What, what are we going to do? I mean, do, the, do you think that there could actually be a fiscal cliff? I mean, I think most economists are saying we're not going to fall off of it, but where there's going to have to be a lot of negotiating in the coming days. Right, and, and and the good thing is that even though you know with what you just showed there, you know that was the first time in you know a few days where where both pe both parties came out and publicly began to sort of again re-engage the public and start to say, well, you know, come side with me about uh, you know where we want these tax cuts on the margin on the marginal rates to be, because up until yesterday, you know, it'd been pretty quiet. And from my political scientist friends, they say, you know, in these high stake negotiations, when you don't see people leaking things, and when and uh, that that's a good that's a good sign. And when the two primary spokespeople are the ones who are communicating with the public, you know, that's also a good that's sign. A good so sign. so we're so we're moving in the right direction. I think you're going to see a two stepped approach. You're going to see the approach that's going to ad address the marginal tax rates. Uh, that, that's this four hundred thousand dollars versus one million response that's going back. That's the thirty-nine percent. That's right. That's right. You're also going to see a resolution about are we going to extend unemployment insurance benefits uh, for for those who still remain unemployed? And that's a big question because currently it's uh, twelve months. Well, right now we've you have if you get on if you lose your job right now you are guaranteed sort of the base twenty twenty two to twenty seven months depending upon your state, but because of the of great of the great recession we had created or expanded our emergency programs and our extended benefits programs which could have allowed you to have up to ninety nine weeks. Now Congress had passed some legislation earlier in the year that began to phase out those programs okay. to where you're now to where now basically you can just get the set twenty seven weeks. But my concern and other economists' concerns are that you know if you look at the real unemployment rate that is where you include just add on to the regular unemployed the 12 million uh, Americans so that's who are unemployed the 8 million Americans who are working part-time but want to work full-time the 2 million Americans that want to work that want to work but they are, aren't actively searching that gives you an unemployment rate of 14 percent right and because the, the, the numbers are a little bit misleading well well it's and not it, so, I mean it's not so much misleading it's just the way we conceptually describe how attached people are to the labor force and in, ter in terms of the job market. Well, we have 11 days left of 2012. Yeah. So let's talk about 2013 sure. and some of the challenges, uh, some of the challenges that we're facing. What about uh, the superstorm Sandy? How is that going to impact the economy for 2013? Yeah. So, so our first reading off it uh, in the December jobs report, um, the Bureau of Statistics said, "Good news is our response rates." weren't were in acceptable ranges so we don't think the December numbers were that were that distorted but we're going to get a really good reading initial reading tomorrow uh, when the, the Bureau of Statistics uh, reports um, state and local uh, job job numbers and so we'll really begin to see okay what was this initial dip uh, that, that Superstorm Sandy caused but many people economists who study natural disasters they say well once we see a, we'll see that downfall okay. but you'll see 
construction sector uh, expand. Why? Because you have to start rebuilding. So, oh. so, so in a really odd and perverse way, you know, the storm can actually add serve as a stimulus. Sure, a no, stimulus it absolutely can in the construction field. But what about, like, say, something like New Jersey, since we're, we're based here, something about, like, the, the, uh, the tourism industry is going to take such a hit. It's a $37 billion industry. What happens then? Would, yeah. That, won't, that mm -hmm. will take a while to recover. Well, I think the, 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 the issue is going to be the pace at which the federal aid and state aid right, comes back into to the economy. Um, also, you know, that, that is a very lucrative business. So I would imagine investors you know, wanting to jump in and be a part of the game. I think, I think you know, some of my planning faculty that I work with, some of them are concerned about what we call gentrification. That the, co that the Jersey Coast actually is not all wealthy people who live out there. There are some middle income or sort of Alice families we've talked about that are just above the living wage in their communities and they were wiped out. So the question is going to be, you know, for, for those households, are they going to be able to still stay there and afford, right, living in those communities? Because what, ha what happens many times is those homes will get destroyed and we've built, built something bigger and they can't afford it. All right. We something got one watch. last question watch. just yeah. for 2013 yeah. on the personal front. Any advice for folks? <laughs> Um, you know, from a, I'm, a, I'm a labor economist, but that's my specialty. And so, you know, if you are, uh, you know, you're employed and you've been working hard, people have been pushing you, uh, you know, start to work your networks because this economy will get better and you could potentially be able to, you know, jettison. Uh, for those who are still actively searching, um, I do a lot of work with United Way. Uh, volunteering is a great way to, to help fill in those, those holes uh, with, your, with your resume. That and is also, great advice. So, Networking and volunteering. Yeah, we thank you, you uh, Bill. Nice to see you, and happy holidays thank to you. you. Thank you.